bank. Yeah. Go. Do it. So this is a Hyundai i30N and um, I really like it, I actually liked it. This is the facelift version, uh, Hyundai introduced this car about four years ago um, as a direct rival to the Golf GTI, they made no bones about it, the fact that this was a GTI rival and the i30 in other markets they don't sell a standard i30 here is a Golf, normal Golf rival and then Hyundai's N division is this um, sports division so they go rallying they, they're very competitive in the WRC um, yeah so this is the pinnacle Hyundai i30 and we've had it for a little over a month and I must say um, I'm a really big fan love it yeah uh, what are the pros the pros I think it looks great um, heads. yeah this is that uh, this is the signature blue I'm not sure I would get the blue one. I, was, I think I would look to a white one just to just to be a little bit more uh, so understated. No, I like I like uh, being understated and uh, and. Um, I would totally get this color. Yeah, um, you won't see a lot of them around, so it's going to stay. It'll be um, pretty unique on the market. Um, I love the simplicity of it. So when you start it, it's got the standard ex sport exhaust system. It sounds amazing. It sounds um, it's got character from startup, which I like. It's definitely um, one of the nicest sounding cars we've had. Yeah, as as default. So you don't need an optional exhaust system. It's and got we had everything the Golf standard. R, not so so long we had a Golf R, which isn't this car's rival, but um, no. with a uh, optional acrobatic exhaust note. And I think this car sounds better. Much better. Yeah. So um, that's a pro. Um, it feels really well put together. It handles really well. Um, I love the the fact that there's one touch buttons to get to change the modes. There's a one touch button to get it into in mode. So if you're driving along like we're doing and you just pop it into in mode, it's ready to go um, racing as soon as you see a GTI. Gear, good double clutch gearbox. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed. Uh, it's got a good warranty. Um, Hyundai's got a, uh, a good um, dealership network these days. Um, yeah, no, there's a, a lot of pros, lots, lots going for it. Are there any cons? Um, it rides firm by default, so it's got standard 19 inch wheels on it, um, which look great, but they do make the ride quite firm as default. I know a, a few people have mentioned that in the in reviews. I don't mind it, I think it's, I think it's a purposeful looking hot hatch that, that backs it up with its ride quality, so I don't mind that at all. Um, resale probably won't be that good, but uh, also means that you, you can probably pick up the second hand one for a really good value. So that's probably the only cons, to be honest with you. Fuel consumption. Fuel consumption just over 10. Um, we've been driving fairly conservatively with a few uh, last year or there. No, 10 liters per 100 kilometers. It's 200 kilowatt um, hot hatch, front wheel drive. Um, okay. I could live with 10 liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, Rival is. GTI that's that in our market yeah look there's going to be a new Honda uh, Honda Civic Type R okay. next year but a Civic Type R is a, l is a lot more boy racer than this um, you can see a Type R in your mirrors from a mile away it's got big wings and, and it's a little bit over the top the guys who buy it love it but it's not as um, kind of subtle as, as, as this and the GTI uh, what is the price this is 780,000 Rand which is a lot of money but um, spec for spec, um, if you did to uh, a GTI, a standard GTI, costs a little bit less than this, but if you added a sunroof, if you get a sports exhaust system, if you get, uh, if you just add a bit of spec onto a GTI, you're very quickly more expensive than this. And would you buy one? I would buy one, and I'll tell you why. So a GTI is nearly 40 years old now, and it's in its eighth generation. So a bit like me in my 40s, you've you kind of a bit more, I wouldn't say you've slowed down, you've still got dynamic ability, but you've got a bit more responsibility or weight of responsibility. And I think the i30N feels like it's got, um, it's, it's newer, it's funkier, it's a bit more edgy. And I like that about, about it. So I feel like at Golf 8, 8 GTI is still a really good package, but I think GTI peaked at Golf 7. So uh, Golf 7 Club Sport, for example, is my favorite. So I think the GTI has grown up a little bit too much. It's a little bit too safe. And um, I think, here's my corner. 
Um, I think that I fit in feels oh. uh, feels nicely exuberant. There's a tow truck right in front of us. Oh. Oh. is a lot of power to be going through the front wheels but um, yeah. you know it's got clever diffs uh, limited slip differential so very little torque steer um, are you okay yeah no I like it a lot yes I would buy one and I would buy one this is gonna be quite controversial I would buy one over a Golf 8 GTI wow look at you yeah. just living a little yeah a little bit of exuberance no, I think it's great I just love the popping I love the popping like that Thank you.